أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحل لبدتا من لساني يفقه قولي The topic for today's conversation is derived from Surah Al-Hashr chapter number 59 verse number 19 of the Holy Quran In this verse Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that don't be among the people who has forgotten Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if the people who has forgotten Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make them forget their own self so the people who don't remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who denies the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who denies that there is one god those people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a punishment will make them forget their own self so that's what happening with all of us today that we have forgotten Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have forgotten our own position on this earth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us the caliph on this earth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us the viceroy you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us the in charge of this earth but after being the in charge we are misusing the authority you know we have, we have been given authorized by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to use all the blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this earth but we are misusing the authority and started exploiting those resources of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those authorities given to us by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and are not following the commandments of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so then we are like animals because the difference between animal and human is the divine spirit animals have animal spirit and their body and they also eat drink sleep have sexual desires and also you know lay eggs or give kids you know depends what kind of animal it is so they also perform same actions what all of us are doing today we build our homes birds also build their nest you know they also lay eggs in the nest then all the eggs in the nest they grow and become bird and they leave the mother bird and then the mother bird also die and the new bird start the same cycle so animal are performing this cycle as well but we the climax of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are supposed to act upon the will of god supposed to submit our free will to the will of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to the religious scriptures and the teachings of all the messengers and prophets who came on this earth for just our guidance allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no benefit in it it's our own benefit that we act upon the guidance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and become the owner of paradise or perform against the will of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala against the teachings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and go in permanent hell fire so as you see today all the humans are moving from the human kingdom towards the animal kingdom all of us don't want to wear clothes who don't wear clothes animals don't wear clothes who does sex in open doors animals does it they don't require closed doors they don't require any hidden spaces they don't require any curtains they perform sex wherever they want that's what happening today also you know 
in the nightclubs, in different other places where on the beaches, on the lake fronts, people are performing adultery openly in public. They are not shy. They are saying everybody has the same organs. They know what is happening. So, so this is an animal instinct. This is not a human instinct. Human is shy. Human wants to perform certain actions with only certain person. But animal, they perform sex with anybody like pig. But the, the female pig is forced to perform sex with the friends of the male pig, you know. So that's the same instinct we are acquiring today. You know, animals also eat, animals also drink, animals also sleep, you know, animals also kill other animals, you know, animals fight for no reason. Same thing we do today. So we have to reevaluate our position and look that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us human. So we should act as a human and should support the fellow human being, should love the fellow human being, should think about what other humans are suffering, you know, the people around us, our own family members, our own children, our own parents should not be in the old homes suffering. You know, our children should not be in daycares all day and we are busy in making money. No. We are after the money as we came in this world to make money. You know, the purpose of the creation was to collect dollars, not to worship our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we need to think and we need to pay attention and take our time out for our permanent life and don't fall for the prey of devil as it is mentioned at multiple places in nahu lakum adu mubin he is your open enemy so if our open enemy wants all of us to go to hellfire but our lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to go in paradise but we are not ready to listen and, and we have forgotten about our lord the focus in this world is not god the focus today is universe. The focus in this world is this body. You know, we spend too much time in the gym, but we do not focus on our spirit. We do not read religious scriptures. We do not go to the mosque and offer prayer. We do not fast. We do not do charity. We do not perform pilgrimage. You know? So the focus is our body not our spirit. We are not giving any food to our spirit. Our spirit is weak, but our body is overcoming our spirit. In actuality, the spirit is riding on the body in this world so that we can go to paradise. If body will ride the spirit, then we will go in hellfire because we are busy in performing animal instincts. We are not busy in performing the human instincts. And the last thing it's mentioned, the focus is this life that, you know, we born here, we will die here and then everything is finished. But the focus should be our next life. The next life is based on the deeds of this life. If we do good deeds here, we will go in paradise. We will perform bad deeds here. We'll go in hellfire. You know. So we have to reevaluate our position and correct our belief. And all these changes from travel from human kingdom to animal kingdom has give, has risen to its peak in last thirty to fifty years. Before practicing person of any religion was almost correct you know but now no one is correct 90 percent of the population is misguided by devil so please kindly think about your next life 
and correct your actions in this life wama alaina illa al balagh al mubin bismillahir rahmanir rahim يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله ان الله خبير بما تعملون ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فانساهم انفسهم اولئك هم الفاسقون بكت عيني بكت عيني بكت عيني على ذنبي وما لاقيت من كربي فيا ذلي ويا خجلي اذا ما قال لي ربي امستحييت تعصيني ولا